here from our M's Quilt and M's Scrap Bag and today I'm going to teach you how to do big stitch quilting. It's a fun way to add texture and design to your quilts and projects. Let me show you a few things that I've done with it. First I did it on this pillow just as another design effect in the um, free blocks rather than the piece blocks. I've done it as a binding technique where I to sew the binding on I did big stitch. I did it with these stars in this quilt to just add a different kind of effect. And right now I'm using it on this quilt just to add texture. Alright, let me show you how you do this. Remember if you like my videos to like and subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Alright, what we're going to need is our project. Um, I like to pin baste my quilt. If you like to spray baste, however you like to baste, use your favorite method. We're going to, I like a needle that's fairly thin and sharp with a big, a large eye. I don't know if you can see the large eye in there. And then we're going to need some, and once again I'm using the Silky Variegated Thread, the 12 weight. You can use DMC floss. This is the blendable. They have it in solid colors also. I just like how this sews and I love the variegated. It just adds a nice touch to your project. All right, so we're going to take some of this thread and we're just going to get us a comfortable length and thread our needle. Once your needle's threaded, you're just going to knot the end. And we're set to jet. Okay, we've got our project ready. We've got our needle threaded. I'm using the Ot Light again. Hopefully, I can do a better job than I did last time. Um, but I think it does help to magnify things. So we're going to come up in our line of stitching. We're going to pull that till we get to the knot. And we're going to hold the back here and kind of pop that knot through the first layer. So when you hear that pop, then you're good to go. So once we've popped the knot through and we're ready to go, we're just going to go down and load some stitches on. Try to keep them about the same size, but it's not an exact science, so just do your best. I load like three or four stitches on and then I just pull it and we're just going to keep doing that all along here. So have fun doing big stitch with your projects. Try it in your binding. Try it to just add like an echo or something around blocks. It's just a fun little element to play with to um, add to your project. Thanks for watching your my video. We'll see you next time. Bye!